after you catch a fish, you don't just throw it in an ice chest. There's three very critical steps that you have to take to make sure that you end up bringing home really high quality fish that's gonna stay fresh for a long period of time. Upon landing your fish, the first thing you wanna do is make sure you lay it on a flat surface, completely away from any corners that the fish can end up kicking and bouncing off of. That will damage your meat. So as soon as possible, you wanna use something like this, we call this a kage stick. The purpose of this is not to brain the fish, you're actually spining it. So you're severing the spinal cord, which will keep it relaxed. And when you set it in your brine, it won't be kicking around and damaging that fish and any other fish you have in the cooler. You're just gonna insert the tip of this kage into the upper area of the gill plate where the gills attach to the spine. You'll feel a hard pocket. So you just tap the back of the end of the kage stick, the eyes, will start to relax. You'll also see uh, fins will quiver. Even the color may change. And you wanna tap hard enough to sever the spine, but yet light enough not to penetrate through the entire fish. That's especially for the case if you wanna use it for a presentation fish. You can't have holes you know, in the head of your fish. Now you're gonna brine your fish. Immediately place your fish in the cooler in a brine mixture. Brine is ice cubes with ocean salt water added to it to lower the temperature to just above freezing. You want to leave your fish in the brine until rigor mortis sets in. Typically it takes two to six hours, but avoid leaving it in the brine for longer. If you leave it sitting in the brine or too much fresh water, what will happen is the eyes will start to turn cloudy. And that's one thing that for presentation fish, you need to keep that eye nice and clear. Once you know that your fish has reached rigor mortis and the temperature, the internal temperature of that fish should be about the same coldness of your brine mixture, you're ready to dry pack your fish. For dry packing, to minimize dents in a fish, you, it's preferred to use crushed ice. Make a, a small layer of ice on the bottom of the cooler, add your first layer of fish, bellies up, and then you're gonna add more crushed ice to that, making sure that you fill every single gap your fish is so cold from the brine water that it's gonna create a shell of crushed ice around it. It's gonna harden that crushed ice and it's gonna keep it, that fish from getting smashed. Keep alternating layers, fish and crushed ice. And at the very last layer, you can always wet a burlap bag and lay it on top. This will help to insulate that cooler and you can keep fish for days without having to add any more ice to it. Lastly, you wanna make sure that you either crack that drain plug on your cooler or remove it completely so that that crushed ice, as it melts, escapes the cooler. Fresh water is what turns that eye cloudy and a lot of times buyers look for that to see if it was just sitting in brine water longer or if that fish is just old. Always remember that when you take a fish, it, that fish is given its life. It deserves the respect. It deserves to be its freshest and its greatest potential when it shows up on that dinner table.